Hi guys. First of all, I wish you a very happy National Science Day. On this wonderful occasion, I just want to perform some of the uh, interesting coloring activities. So, I want you to perform these activities because these are very easy to perform at our home. And please do try them. And I'll tell you the science behind it. Okay. So, first of all, you are seeing okay this is a purple color solution i'll tell you what it is later and now you are seeing another solution here now i'm going to add them together and see what is going to happen okay this purple color solution and this colorless solution both are added together let's see what is going to happen Do you find anything interesting? Observe it carefully what is happening here. Is it furtherly interesting? Let's see how many colors have been changed by it. Now, to perform this activity, you need potassium permanganate solution. Okay. Make it a clear potassium permanganate solution. Okay, don't make it uh, too much concentrated. And in another, you need sodium hydroxide and sugar solution. Just add them together. This is a very, very interesting activity and you are going to love it. Okay, let's skip to the second one. See here, two solutions are there. Both are colorless solutions. Both are colorless solutions and I have taken thermocol in my hand. See, thermocol and I just want to put thermocol into it. In both of them, I put thermocol and observe what is happening. In the first one, the thermocol has been disappeared and in the second one, you are going to find thermocol is not soluble here. Now, can you identify these two solutions? Both are colorless solution, but don't assume them as water. This one is water and this is acetone. You know, this is going to be found in nail polish removal. Okay, this is acetone and thermocol is soluble in acetone. You can make your friends fool. Okay, right. Now, we can go for another activity. This is a solution and here I am adding another solution. See, one drop of another solution. Now observe what is happening here. Now the solution's color has been changed. Now here I am adding another solution to it. Observe what is happening now. Observe what is happened here. The color has been disappeared. Now, again, I am adding it. Now, you have to understand what is going to happen. Now, if I am going to add this solution to it. Now, you can clearly understand this solution is the reaction between. First one, I have taken sodium hydroxide solution. And then I have added phenolphthalein indicator to it. Then what is the color? Pink. And then what I have done is I have added vinegar to it. Now it has been neutralized and the color has been disappeared. If you are adding sodium hydroxide again, you are going to find pink color. If you are adding the vinegar again, you are going to find the color has been disappeared. This is an acid-base reaction and it is very very interesting. This is called neutralization reaction. Okay. Now, I'll show you very, very interesting activity. See, you are going to observe here. What is this? This is hydrogen peroxide and soap solution. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide and soap solution. See, this is so detergent. That is soap. For dishwash liquid. I have taken dishwash liquid. And 
this is potassium permanganate solution okay potassium permanganate and i am going to add them together now observe carefully what is happening in this reaction you find it interesting Okay, you can perform this activity easily and it is very interesting activity so that everybody is going to enjoy it. You know one gas is releasing here, that gas is oxygen gas. Okay, oxygen gas is produced in this reaction. It is very interesting and remember it is so hot because it is an exothermic reaction. Okay, right. Now, We will go to another activity. See, I have two glasses and this is another solution. I am adding them here. Now, how this is possible? Because I have already taken a small drop of phenolphthalein indicator here as well as here and this is sodium hydroxide. You know, this is a base and whenever base is going to react with methyl that phenolphthalein indicator the color is pink and nobody can able to recognize it okay so this is a very interesting activity that you can perform now i'll perform you another activity see this is a ball okay sorry this is a balloon and i can able to play with it There is nothing new, you all can able to do it. But can we do the same with this balloon? See, this is also a balloon. Now, it is very difficult to play with it. You know what is the reason behind it? Because there is a coin inside the balloon and whenever you are going to make it move, the coin is moving. Whenever coin is moving, its mass, center of mass is being changed. And whenever center of mass has been changed, its stability has been shifting from one place to another place. So this is the reason why we can't able to play with it. Okay? You can able to perform this. The next one is a very interesting activity. See? These are teacups, paper teacups. Now I am blowing air. Hope you are enjoying. This is the Bernoulli's principle. Now, whenever I am blowing air parallel to it, the pressure here has been increased, and this pressure is going to make the cup move up. See, I hope you are going to enjoy all these activities, and I wish you want to perform. Then you can easily perform these activities because these are made up of very low cost materials, and I hope you enjoyed the activity.